sea deep. Sea deep, deep, baby. Hondas, I think a side by side. We got some dirt bikes following us. They're gonna have hell in this mud trail. We're going to my favorite trail to start. Actually, the trail that Haley Diggins sucked the foiler. That's always been my favorite trail. And uh, we're gonna go start there and uh, hope for the best. Make sure nobody sinks something by starting them off with a good time. We're actually running the 33s today. I'm very curious to see how they perform. There's no clutching done to this bike whatsoever. It's completely stock versus these heavy 33s. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we don't run any issues today. We have been taking water in on the belt and the motor. So uh, we'll just have to uh, find out if this, if this thing's gonna wanna perform today. Gonna do in this sandy mud. I do hear the belt squealing a little bit with these tires. We'll see if we blow a belt today. That could be could be get that could get interesting. Hana's literally sitting on 34s. That is a big just floating it. He's got the assassinators on that one right there. We're gonna keep on trucking. Man, I hope my belt lasts today because I do not have another one. Oh man, this is always a fun hole. Looks like the water's down today. Whoa, okay, wasn't expecting that. This bike's working me to death today. How am I lacking ground clearance, bro? The water's down, man. Oh, Honda pulling me out. I gotta make sure I get this on video, the Honda pulling me out. There it is. So far, not that impressed with the 33s. I don't know if I need to add more air to float this thing or what. But this thing does not want to float. Oh, boy. I am muddy. Sweatshirt was a bad idea. I'm already cooking. I was not planning on getting this muddy today. Oh man, this looks bad. Oh, oh man, these tires throw a lot of mud. Oh, I'm covered. Oh, I cannot see a jack diddly crap, man. Why do we do the mud trail right off the right off the jump? We need more water, man. I don't know if it's because the 33s just throw so much more more mud or what, but I am filthy already. And I had to work my ass off to get through some of those holes, man. I just don't think that the 33s are performing quite how I wanted them to. I think if I filled them up with more air, that they would. This looks like it's gotten dug out real bad. Holy crap, this got dug out real bad. Something you want to hit from the other side, and you don't know how deep that is. Let's find out how deep it is, shall we? Where's the water? This place has no water in it. Whoa! <laughs> that woke me up. That was in the face. Head over to the snorkel pond, see what we got cracking over there, baby. So today's video, I really just wanted to bring you guys along. Just out here enjoying the weekend, riding four-wheelers. I wanted to throw on these 33s, test them out. So far, I'm impressed with the Renegade and how it's not impressed right now with how the tires are doing in this water. This very little water and a lot of mud. Be my guest. <laughs> I guess I'll be my own guest. Hopefully it's not too deep. Don't sink this thing right off the bat. It looks like the water's down though. I'm still worried about ruts. If we can please not roll this thing. All right, come on baby, don't roll on me. Oh yeah, she deep. She deep deep, baby. Just gotta make sure we don't jump into a rut coming down this. All right, we're in the center of the snorkel pond now. Come on baby, don't let me down. <laughs> Oh, there's a hole in these waders. I can feel the water rushing in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. Doing the whole snorkel pond on the Renegade. That's like the, how down the water is, man. I mean, I don't even have to wheelie through this stuff. I don't know if there's water in my belt or what. 
Now it feels like there's water in my belt. I don't understand where this water's coming in from. I'm about to go get the Honda because it's water tight. Oh, yes, sir. See, the water ain't even that deep. I've literally done the whole snorkel pond, and it, I mean, one time, and it came up and actually almost came to my dashboard. That's about the deepest it's gotten. Like, what? Dude, where's the water? I got a wet belt. I don't know what's going on, y'all. This is horse crap. This is utter or horse crap, man. Just out of the blue, just getting water in my snorkels. It's obviously I got a punctured snorkel or something. Holy shit. Really? It's still going. What? Still pouring out. I, what I think is when we put this new exhaust on, it must have got hot on this snorkel somewhere and then burn a hole in it. We didn't, use, we didn't put any heat tape on it, and that's what screwed us. That's what's going on. This is dumb, bro. Now I'm gonna have to order a whole new snorkel from Can-Am. Check the air box while we're checking stuff. That's exactly what happened, though. That damn new exhaust. We didn't put any heat tape around the snorkel. Got hot, burned a hole in the air box, or burned a hole in the... I think the new exhaust, what happened was, was the header burned the damn uh, snorkel. And so I think I got a hole in there because I'm getting a shitload of water in. If I want to put that new exhaust on, we'd be fine right now. It is what it is. I have to order a new snorkel, throw it in there, and heat tape the damn thing. Apparently, I didn't use any heat tape. <laughs> well, damn it, Bobby. Oh, man. Yeah, we got we to gotta go through this whole thing, figure out these leaks, probably from the heat from the exhaust, burning holes in the, the snorkel, the rubber snorkels. But, I mean, it is what it is. That's what was happening at Busco, man. Should have brought the Honda. That little Polaris is snorkeled. Got speakers and everything. Man, that's one thing about whenever you get a foiler and then you like start messing with it, putting stuff on it, sometimes you can cause more problems than you fix. Just like putting this exhaust on it. Yeah, I opened her up, made her more powerful, made her sound good, but I overlooked needing to heat tape these snorkels. So uh, I guess I'm gonna have to get that figured out. One of the reasons I wanted to come down here today is because Outback is having their mud bash at the end of the month. I've never been to it. All I know is I want to come and I want to... <laughs> Alright, we got to figure out where this leak is and how deep it is because I do not know how deep I can go. But like I was saying, Outback is having their uh, mud bash at the end of this month. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to ride it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to riding it. And uh, I've never been to one of their mud bashes. So I figure, yeah, I know the whole park pretty good, but I'd come down here and get an idea of where everyone's going to be parked. Get an idea of where I want to park and set up. Just try to have a kick-ass weekend that weekend. We need rain bad. My boy Jacob over here, he was in the first ever duck hunting video on the channel. And uh, so you guys might remember him, but he invited me out this morning. I was like, yeah, I'll go ride. Why wouldn't I? All right, don't be too deep, please. I got a leak in my belt. Maybe I just keep it in a wheelie. I won't get any water in it. Yeah, there we go. Got to keep her in that wheelie, baby. I have a bad feeling Outback's Mud Bash is going to be a lot like Busco's Mud Bash, where the mud is literal soup, son. Literal soup. I'm hoping we'll get some rain this week and won't have that issue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. I have a bad feeling this video is going to be me taking the four-wheeler riding and then just switching over to the garage, working on this damn thing. What happened to everybody? Is that a Milwaukee speaker? <laughs> We're gonna run down this trail, try to find the creek, and hopefully not sink this damn thing. That's so sandy right there, man. Where's all the water? There's no water here, man. Let's go. Ah! Holy sh! Forgot how you don't have leg room and razors. Don't we have like four other people behind us? Oh my gosh! Yeah, normally the water's all the way up to here. And all the way to the other side. <laughs> I would have it. It wasn't a boat. <laughs> just fucking ripped his bumper off, dude. What the fuck was that? That's all it's got. <laughs> That's all it's got. Bogging down the bike. Yeah, this shit's saying limp fucking something. It ain't in limp mode, but fucking naders went straight to the bottom. Oh my gosh. It's gonna have to come out forward because the ass is just too dug deep. This four wheeler's been idling underwater for like 40 minutes now. We've blocked the entire trail off. 
People are trying to pull this thing out left and right. It's not going nowhere. Absolutely insane. Looks like hooking both of them up from the front. I feel like it's got to go out forward. This is crazy. My damn foiler over here, man. It killed my battery pulling that winch, even while the motor was running. And so we got it warming up right now. I can't even pull in my winch right now without the damn battery dying in it. Look at them all. We've had 10 guys try to pick that thing. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, the tire broke the top of the water. I think I gotta unhook him and pull it out next three. We do have a uh, we do have a backhoe coming. Oh, bird. X3 ain't doing it. Oh. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has been a shit show. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just died. The dash won't even light up. Your pole is not charging. Yeah, it's not charging apparently. All right, I cannot cut this damn thing off. Holy shit. Y'all missed so much. This has been chaos. Yeah, I taught them. I caught them and taught them. They drain all the water out of the belt. Have you checked the air box? Nope. <laughs> it, didn't make, it didn't make it to it though. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. The oil looks good. Well, yeah, yeah no, nope, that's good. Holy crap, man. That's sand, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, it was definitely running on one cylinder. All right, see if it turns over. Oh, there shouldn't be water in that top end, though. Water feels just like it, so long as it didn't have oil. Possibly. Yeah, the motor literally locked up, boys. Started running off one cylinder and finally locked up. We're renegade, just like mine, man. Holy cow, isn't that water for 45 minutes? My poor man, dude. I ripped off his bumper. The rear rack almost came off. It had to idle underwater for 45 minutes. One cylinder stops running, then it locks up. I mean, we had the backhoe on the way. We blocked off the trail. Anybody that came through the trail from for the last hour has literally tried pulling this thing out it killed my bike i mean it's just been absolute chaos man the thing ran underwater for so long his belt box filled with slam full of water so his tires won't turn that's what was really really effing us up they're headed to the truck i might go down here and hit this hole go see what this deep hole down here is about the whole group left me i'm going i'm going with or without them It's just me, myself, and I out here in the swamp. Man, that looks deep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hope my belt stays dry enough to get back. We made it through. I tried to keep the front end up a little bit just because I don't want to uh, have to drain this belt if I don't have to. I was trying to show the Honda boys a good hole. This is kind of like back here where no one really goes to, man. I mean, this is the deepest water here right now. It's a big root in here you got to watch out for. It'll roll your ass so fast. That ended quickly. Here they are. Wait a second. This ain't my group. All right, then. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's a fun hole. I want to hit it. But I'm not because I got to catch up to them. Oh, where do we go? It's my time to shine and run fast. Oh, we about took out that tree. Time to shine and run fast, baby. On the 33s! 
Is that them? I catch up? Yep, yep, that's them. That didn't take long. I went through that whole freaking swamp and back and still caught up though. I guess that's what happens when somebody's pulling a four-wheeler. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go home and figure this thing out. Cause this thing's driving me nuts, man. Woo oh boy. <laughs> Even on the 33s, it still rips, son. Nothing, my eyes are watered. I mean, it needs a clutch kit, but you could definitely ride it without. Oh, it's a weird feeling when these big ass tires slide around like you're freaking drifting, man. Now, if you guys haven't seen the video, we actually blew up a 2019 Polaris High Lifter, man, with 100 pounds of Tannerite. Absolutely insane. And it's hanging in one of these trees out here at Outback. There it is. <laughs> oh, it's so crusty. It is so. Look at all the rust, man. Everything's destroyed. Yeah, 100 pounds of Tanner, right? ain't no joke. That was a full functioning four-wheeler. Now look at it. Well, I guess if someone needs a spacer, it looks like the spacer survived. Kinda, if it's not cracked. Holy crap, man. Yeah, when we blew up that four-wheeler, when one of the tires flew 200 freaking 20 yards, bro, went past us from where we shot it from. Holy crap, it was sketchy. Man, what a day it's been. I feel like we haven't even got to do a lot of riding. Everything just broke. Everybody was having issues today. Honda boys having issues. Can Am boys having issues. Hell, if we had a Polaris here, it would have been having issues. I think it's time to go home and figure out exactly what's going on with this damn four wheeler. So guys, if you would, go ahead, like this video. Please go ahead and subscribe. What a day it's been. I just wanted to bring you guys along today and uh, enjoy the day with me. I know a lot of you guys ask for more and more and more and more videos. And sometimes, you know, like today, I just had to come out here by myself and ride. So I was like, let's, let's slap on a GoPro. And uh, if you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know. Please start. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Why'd I turn it off? It won't start. <laughs> we might need to find jumper cables again. It's just, just dead, dude. This thing needs all kind of work. The dash won't even stay on. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, I got to figure this out. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Yeah.